most of us, what we intend to do is when we're told of our fatal disease, we go through this. The first phase is always the denial phase, you know. It cannot happen to me. It's not me. Why my daughter? Why me? Why my daughter? No. And I told God, honestly, Iman Darile, I'm a God-fearing person. Yadi timi chau. Bani, meru chodi ne kei hu dayna. And I want to give hope. And uh, because I believe in second chances, I believe in life, and I believe uh, that uh, in silver lining after the dark phase. Once again, welcome to IME Nepal Literature Festival 2018. I am Rujisha, and um, I hope Pohra's weather, which is very chill, uh, is treating you all well. Uh, to be really honest, it's not treating me that well. But I hope you guys are enjoying the time here. So, uh, not wasting any time further, I would like to jump into the program, which we've been waiting for a very long time. Especially, I've been waiting for this a very, very long time. Um, so, I'm delighted to be present here today and have this amazing opportunity to introduce a person who has achieved and concord so many things in her life that any of us can only imagine to concur. She needs no introduction as she's a legend in herself, epitome of beauty and grace, powerhouse of acting and inspiration to many of us for not only what she has contributed in film industry but also her will to bounce back in life. None other than Manisha Querela. She, with her book Healed, which was recently launched in India, is here to tell her story in her own words. This is the first time she's launching her book in <coughs> Nepal exclusively at IME Literature, book, uh, IME Literature Festival. Uh, and it's a great news for all of us that Healed will soon be released uh, in Nepali uh, by Fine Print Publication. So that's a huge deal. Um, so to do the honors, we have our one and only Maha Nayak, our only <coughs> superstar who in his own way has made a deep contribution in Nepali film industry, Mr. Raja Samalji. So I would like to welcome on stage Manisha Koiralaji with her parents, uh, Prakash Koiralaji and Shishma Koiralaji, along with uh, Alkesh Biswalji of Penguin Random House uh, India and also our Mahanayak Raja Samalji and finally our Neeraj Bhari Ji from Fine Print Publication um, to finally unreveal the book, Healed. Once again, uh, since we are having some technical uh, difficulties, so once again I would like to invite on stage Manisha Koiralaji uh, with her parents Prakash Koiralaji and Susma Ji and um, Alkis Biswalji of Penguin uh, Random House, our Mahanaik Raja Samalji and finally Neeraj Bhariji from Fine Print. Let's clap because we have our superstars here. All right, so we have our stars here. Um, so uh, I think Prakash Ji is missing here. Praka Prakash Koirala Ji, it would be an honor. <laughs> okay, he's waving his hand. <laughs> he's a little shy. Yeah, <laughs> all right. So we can proceed now. Do we have books? Oh. 
signing the book so if anyone is interested to get it signed you can do it and um, before uh, leaving the stage I would want to call uh, Sushma ji to uh, say a few words Nepal but me too. Nepali ko pranam cha. Dheri varsha ki manisha la paunda. Mero bua le hospital mani. Chori paaya bhani da esto anwaar laga ko thiyo. Tiyo dinu mai le. Aapne chori ka anwaar. Hera da. So chakhi. Tane esto thula banao la chori. E. Jammai buhar lai tero maati garb ho la. Mo videsh pono pothaun chi. Tio bela khub videsh ko khubi chahana ron tio videsh maa Switzerland maa pone kaam pone kaam pone maa nera angreji pone khubi chahana ron tio. I'm talking about 70s, early 70s, 70s. And then I, my father-in-law was in tio Kata London tanda kata Bish kata Hunun tu. He sent me a small little card. Just ma tu room ko ita tu kito le tu kita ko tu dekhar gara tu statue just tu tu. Nanu aile samanthe timle mere naati paisa kya hola banera. I'm just telling you about the mentality of the common fathers, everyone chora paus banera, including BP. And then, I said, Baba, I want to leave. I said, I want to leave. I said, I want to leave. I said, I want to leave. And then, I said, I want to leave. And then, I said, I want to leave. If you remember, Rajeshi, there was one film. Just, Ma, Re, Ma, Ma, Re, Ma, Ma, Re, Bhani Gana. I want to leave. That was, uh, some Rajesh Khanna, some, 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 some. Yo, Mero Chori le, Atno Maina ko bela ma, Mama e, Mama e, Gada ke, Sappai jana ghar ma, Oho, Yo to thulo, Cinema ko manche huncha, Ay, bhante, Gai ka huncha, bhante. Pachi, Yo school ma pohna gai, She started coming first in her class. Sappai le bhanna thale, Oho, Yo to dhere hi thulo, Padha ko manche huncha, Bhanne ra. विशेष तर मलाई चाहिए नहीं हमरों घर में सब पे डॉक्टर पढ़ने भागो ना ले मलाई ला डॉक्टर बनाऊं नहीं इच्छा थी मलाई लगते हैं ला मुठूलो डॉक्टर बनाऊं चुके यो बाय द वे शी बिकम एन एक्ट्रेस शी बिकम गुड एक्ट्रेस शी बिकम वेरी गुड एक्ट्रेस एंड देन एक छोटी कुनी फेलियर मा मैले लाई देखा चु, फेलियर बने को कुने डायरेक्टर को कुने इंटरव्यू को बेला मार, शायद विनो चोप्रा, his first wife was my friend, and then, oh she is a rubbish actress बने के, रात भरी ले, उस उल्लेखनी, 
Mother, give me one more time. And he came and bragged in front of me, Swishma, your daughter is a lousy actress. भीतर भीतर मो दंगे पर रखे थे ठीक है तो चाहिए नहीं कि ये बम्बई टाइम में मापस नहीं जाने नेपाल जाने डॉक्टर बन चाहिए भनेर माला मन मचाने लगी रहता I didn't take care of that thing a whole night she was doing अली एक और ही चल whole night she practiced next day same you know Khanna comes and says hey she is my Rajju Sushma she is my Rajju you know that मतलब no she is my daughter she is not your Rajju she is just enacting that you know Come on, that's Manisha Koirala. If she takes something, she finishes it to the T. And when she got cancer, that was the day I didn't believe that God can be so cruel. Why my daughter? Why me? Why my daughter? No. And I told God, honestly, Iman Darile, I'm a God-fearing person. Yadi timi chau, bani meru chodi ne kei hunda ina. Doctor sangamayile ekle maso dathe. What are the chances, doctor? He said, well, hmm. I said, come on, tell me. <coughs> he said, well, we, will, we are all trying, aren't we? I said, but let me tell you, you are a father, I'm also a mother, you have got children. So don't lie. He said, Mrs. Koirala, he was Chinese, he was hardly saying me Koirala, something. And then he said, if you will, she will live. I said, come on. If you do good work, she will live. Again, and Dr. Jani Belama, I don't know why. I had some Rudraksh with me, just now I had a puja gar laga hai. Well, doctor, you have a pocket in my pocket. You have a lot of work. I had a lot of faith. I had faith that God cannot be a bad person. And she came out with such a flying color. <coughs> yeah, she's telling me stop. I'm so. <laughs> she's my boss, actually. Yeah. Sometimes I ask her, can I breathe? <laughs> I think most of the parents must be asking their yeah, children, like can you see. breathe? So I'm breathing now. I'm taking it all. If you want, you can do it. But do it with honesty with perseverance and with love. I hope you will love my daughter's honest writing. God bless all of you. God bless her always. Thank you. Thank you, Susma Ji. Manisha Ji is definitely an inspiration for all of us. So now uh, we're moving to the conversation session between uh, Raja Samal Ji and Manisha Ji. It will be a 30-minute conversation. So I would like to welcome on stage again um, Raja Samal Ji and Manisha Ji. Huge round of applause for them, guys. Thank you so much. Good afternoon, Samilai. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon. Namaste. You're looking wonderful. Thank you so much. How are you doing this afternoon? Excited. Excited? Okay. You know, to be very honest, you know, when I got your book, when I got your book, The Heal, I was sort of like, you know, caught in a dichotomy. Dichotomy in a sense that, I mean, I knew the book is going to be full of pain, full of you know, different kinds of traumas that you went through. Uh, 
full of diagnoses and different types of you know hospital and doctors opinions and things like that so basically I, I was you know on the surface I was thinking that it's going to be painted with a grim picture and I really don't know if I want to get into that immerse myself into that you probably uh, experienced that yourself you know revisiting while writing the book you know uh, but then when I went deeper I definitely thought that the book must be more than that you know it must be about uh, how you overcome that, uh, how you overcome the trauma uh, in the face of difficulties of life, uh, how did you strengthen yourself despite the challenges that you had to face, and of course after uh, the sickness and the illness, the new perspective you must have had about life, about things in general, you know, about things that you took it for granted, otherwise, you know, must have had a different or a new meaning to it. Uh, so that motivated me to read your book. And that is probably what motivated you to write the book, right? It's just not about your illness, uh, but how you overcome your illness, how you overcame the challenges, and despite the sadness and the dark cloud, there is a silver lining. Because, you know, in, in suffering, sometimes we intend to be innovative as well, you know? And the suffering that you went through probably innovated you, innovated your perspective, innovated your outlook on life, the things you took, you know, for granted and mundane things in life, you know, had a different meaning, the nature, the body, the spirit, the body, you know, all that. Uh, so, and that it becomes an interesting reading because, you know, as a human being, what we are interested in most, I mean, as a human being, what are we interested in most? We're interested uh, about another human being. That is the most interesting part for one human being, you know. We're always interested in another human being. Uh, so, of course, we're all interested in knowing your narration, especially a popular, famous person like you, you know, uh, who is known for your beauty, for your glamour, for your body who had to go through all those challenges, which probably made you a caricature of yourself at one point or the other, you know, and that must not have been a very easy thing to digest. Uh, so that made a very interesting reading, and uh, I wasn't too wrong, because despite, you know, in spite of your uh, the sickness and diagnosis, you have spoken a lot about life, you sp you've spoken a lot about the spirit and the mind, which will interest us all because, you know, the unpredictability of life, the fear of life, whether you're in sickness or in health, you know, we all have that. Right. We all have that fear. We all have that sense of mortality in us somewhere, you know. We don't carry it on our sleeve on a day-to-day -day life. Otherwise, we won't be able to get things done. But we all have that, you know, whether the person who's in sickness or whether in health. So that is a very strong link, your emotion links to the rest of us because we identify with that, you know, very strongly. So overall, thank you so much for writing this book, you know, sharing your experience. I'm sure it must not have been very easy for you to do it, uh, to put yourself out there in the open, you know, open up yourself. Now, and it's, it's, it's a pleasure being here on, this, on the stage and talking to you like this. Uh, what I would like to ask you is, uh, you know, when you confront a serious disease such as cancer, you know, especially you on your fourth stage, and it has already metastasized, you know, and, and that is a that there's a very fatal stage that you are in, you know. And when you first confront it, I think you know most of us what we intend to do is when we're told of our fatal disease, we go through this. The first phase is always the denial phase, you know. It cannot happen to me. It's not me, you know. This is something that happens to someone else. This is something that I read about somebody else, you know. So you go through the denial phase, and then slowly, you know, it starts sinking in, in you and in, in a person, and then you sort of intend to sort of like take it in, and then you say that, okay, this is what I will have to live up with. And then later on, then you have, you build up a courage. And the courage, of course, is, <clears throat> is not only you yourself, but the other sources that come, your lovely mother, your father, your family, you know. Uh, when I read the book, the amazing thing, thing that you have is, I mean, you have your strength of your own, you are a very courageous person, but at the same time, you have a tremendous support system, 
Absolutely. A tremendous support system in your mother, in your father, your brother. You are so lucky. Yes. If I fall sick tomorrow, <laughs> I will not have that support system. My parents are not around. I don't know what, what my brothers and sisters are going to do it because I always say we're five siblings, you know, we're five, and this is me, and this is them. So, <laughs> uh, so that's a very nice position to be in, especially when you have a cancer, you know, your tremendous mother has always been a backbone for you, you know, and you've taken so much of energy from her. So congratulations. Maybe you would like to share some experience of your own with the audience and myself. Thank you so much. Thank you, Rajeshi. It meant the world to me that you read the book. Uh, you've known me a little bit about as an actor, as a person, but uh, uh, when uh, I got to know that you'll be part of this uh, uh, launch and you'll be reading the book, I was uh, really, really thrilled. Thank you for doing this. Um, and thank you all for being here. Um, really supporting and, and loving and thank you so much um, and rightfully so um, I have let me begin with my gratitude towards my family who's been my strength at the time uh, you all have just recently heard my mom uh, and um, I'm totally blessed to have a mother like that, to have an amazing father, to have amazing family support and few close friends whom I truly value and who were there. Um, so my uh, thank you and gratitude to, to them. And so I'll talk a little bit about my book. The, I felt uh, compelled to write this book especially about cancer, uh, how it impacted me, and uh, what all happened, because I feel it is uh, from a first a person's perspective, a person who's gone through uh, this kind of uh, life-threatening disease, uh, is that kind of, a, in a mainstream, uh, there's less of a uh, kind of a book. Uh, I had asked my publisher, Penguin Random House in uh, New Delhi, I had asked them, do you recommend any book? So they had actually mentioned a book called When Breath Becomes Air, and when I was reading that book, uh, I mean, it was beautiful, it's poetic, but it is also very sad. So I, I felt uh, that's not how I want to tell my story, and I want to give hope. And uh, because I believe in second chances, I believe in life, and I believe uh, that uh, in silver lining after the dark phase. So that's why I felt, uh, even though I really uh, I have tried my level best to be earnest and honest and take my readers to uh, the fears uh, of what a cancer patient goes through. And I know, I know, whoever reads that uh, gets to feel what I was going through. So I'm sorry for taking my readers to down the lane of pain and trauma. Um, but no, no, but that's, that's something that we all identify with, you know, whether we are in sickness or in health, because that's always in, our, in the back of our mind, the unpredictability of life, the fear, the mortality, you know. So you were right on. The, the story was fantastic. Carry on. So uh, yeah, um, but then I knew that towards the end, because it's a story also about overcoming the difficulty. So um, that's why I felt um, its initial will be shaken up. But I know this will be released at the end. So. Uh, and also I feel my perspective towards life has changed a lot, as you rightfully told us said, that I was taking life for granted. I was uh, taking everything that came as a gift to me um, uh, for granted, like beautiful family who's here, who's, who stood there like a rock through my triumph, uh, really struggle time. I took them for granted. I took. Uh, I had a wonderful career and, uh, and people, so many fans loving me, adoring me, showering me with so much of love. I took everything for granted and how, uh, when I was diagnosed with cancer and I, I realized that life was slipping by, how I was desperate to save all that, that I 
initially had taken for granted and I didn't care a damn. And uh, that's when I realized, see, I, I better tell this story and, and tell uh, about my lessons in life so that somebody else probably could benefit from it. Not to take uh, love for granted, not to take work for granted, not to take this life for granted, not to take things that happens, that comes to us. You know, uh, we don't take it, we don't value it till it, we really struggle. Um, Actually, that's the main purpose to writing this book. Um, uh, while telling my story is also important, the lessons that I learned, how my perspective towards life changed, how, what kind of life I'm seeing. And honestly, um, today, uh, even if I lead a short life, I really don't care so much, as long as I lead quality life, as long as I get to enjoy and savor and taste and really welcome life with, with open arms and full heart. So... You know, when I'm <laughs> listening to you right now, I uh, just remember a few lines from, uh, I think it was uh, Rudyard Kipling, you know, there's, there's a poem called If. Love that. You, you Love like that, that point. Point. And there's a few lines. I'm not going to go through the whole point, but there are a few lines which is you know so much uh, uh, familiar or similar to the kind of emotion you must have gone through probably. You know. It says that if you, I mean, if all these lines starts from there. So he said, if you can force your heart and nerve and sinew to serve your turn long after it's gone, and so hold on when you have nothing else but the will that says to you, hold on. You know, I so identify with the emotions that you must have gone through because there was one point in your life when you, I mean, you probably say a few lines in the book as well where you had almost like, you know, there was a stage, phases in your life where you wanted to give up and mm -hmm. just maybe say goodbye peacefully mm -hmm. to this world and, and sink out. Mm -hmm. And that is the moment when you probably did not have any energy, any will. But that is the moment when you stuck on and you held on and you hold on to your energy when there was absolutely nothing else to hold on. And that is when you become courageous. Because the kind of, I mean, but when I read the diagnosis, the kind of stage that you have gone through, it was a fatal stage. It was the fourth stage. Cancer was rampant. I think 19 or 20 percent of survival chances. So you're amongst those 19 percent yes. of the people yeah. uh, who survive, uh, you know, facing a disease like yours. So that was tremendous. Uh, and with that kind of courage, I think it would go a long way. And with that kind of mentality, and with this renewed energy and life, <laughs> so congratulations! You don't live for long. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Rajesh. And um, I see um, Vijay Kumarji uh, in, in his with him in the interview. I said the whole thing about life is going out gracefully. Absolutely, you know, absolutely. At one stage of life, what you think is, what do you want the most? Oh, I just want to exit gracefully from this life, and that becomes the most important thing, you know. Uh, to exit gracefully. I totally agree, Rajeshi. I think um, when, um, during this whole journey, uh, death uh, was one of the topics which was consistently in my head. And the only thing that was, I was looking at, okay, if I had to die, what kind of environment I would want to leave this earth and uh, what kind of frame of mind. And what was not acceptable to me is to die in fear and die in desperation, wanting to live. So when the time comes, I want to exit gracefully and with dignity, for sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because another two lines, you are the master of your fate, and you are the captain of your soul, right? And you are the one who's going to direct all that. Uh, is there anything you would like to share? Uh, no, I think, uh, I just basically uh, want to say that it's, uh, first time experience of the cancer and my life and everything. I hope that you all uh, read the book and uh, tell me how it is. It's my new journey. Uh, I have many stories in my head and uh, which I want to 
uh, share uh, in other books. Uh, this is my first attempt, so I hope uh, the readers like the book. I want to thank uh, Fine Prince, I want to thank uh, Penguin Random House for supporting me and giving me a uh, pat on my back and holding my hand and uh, you know, telling me how to go about it. Um, this is my. Are you? You read the book in Nepali or in English? Nepali, I read it. Sir, fine print later, I will do the translation. Translation done, sir. Or I think in few months time, couple of months time, I will come in Nepali also. Um, how do you? तो वो लोग कुरा के बन्नु छावनी, किन्नाओं ने छावनी, नासनु छावनी, वाली आई तो तब मैं एकदम स्वस्थ हो गया था। माँ आई एकदम स्वस्थ हूँ। कोई कॉम्प्लिकेशन सही ना हो, तब वो आप में डॉक्टर्स और संग तब तो इन टच हो रहा हूँ उनसे। हो। मैंने तो मेरे को सपोर्ट सिस्टम को कुरा कर रहे हैं, मैं I think that there was any drag very on the matter. I know. Why are you going to throw it in somewhere? Yeah, I think. पहले लोग रहता हूँ मेरो नॉर्वेक माँ डॉक्टर मधु भी मेरे जिले डायग्नोस कर लो आते हैं तो तीखे रहने वाले भूम आते कि अमेरिका ले ले रजानु मने रहो तेज पची माँ डॉक्टर अरबानी से ना भूम मुंबई ना मेरे से कि लोफी लेने गए हो अन्य तेज पची माँ न्यूयॉर्क माँ गए रहते नहीं मेरे डॉक्टर डॉक्टर � why Pachi? Then Dr. Macker came on board. And over the years, Chani, why I play, Jai Lipani, my email, why I play, but once a year, Chani, I go to New York, why I play, to just basically get a psychological comfort to meet my doctors and to know. And I kept on asking Dr. Chiki, am I cured, am I cured, am I cured, or anything like that. I don't want to ask him a few. ये एकदम ही जिद्दी पेशेंट हो वगैरह बट ही रियल सपोर्टेड मी एंड या आई थिंक आई हैव अ वंडरफुल डॉक्टर सपोर्ट सिस्टम इन माय डॉक्टर्स अगेन आई फील आई वाज ब्लेस्ड टू गेट देम ऑन बोर्ड एंड या थैंक यू धन्यवाद एंड मैं यू हैव a long life, a healthy life, you know? Thank you. Yeah. In, in every which way, mentally, spiritually, physically. Absolutely. And intellectually, to, to a certain extent. <laughs> to keep your intellect <laughs> as well. Ani darsa karo tapadla ke bhannu cha ya sodnu cha Manisha ji lai kitab ko baare ma waha ko yo dun chun hoti waha le saamna garnu ba tesko baare ma ki cha wani sodnu sa bhnu cha kasa ili? यार सब लाइन नमस्ते मैं गुरु प्रसाद बराम मेरे बाहर एक उम्मीद उम्मीद हो मनीषा कोई राला जी सीता मोहन दी खेल खेले आजू फिरी बैठा हूँ मैं शूटिंग होता है मेरे काम में शूटिंग मार दियो और आज लाइन जब आयो जटिल समस्या था पाए मैं एकदम दुखी हुआ है तो रो आज उनको जैसे स्वास्थ्य लागू मेरे काम आना पड़ी करे तो हमारे वाला तो फलाये पूरा आज उन जस्ट एक तो फिटिंग तो एक तो हाइट भागो मैच चल रहे फोर स्टेज समा कैंसर पहचान गर गर नगर ताहरी ये मैसेज आने की तेरा मरो भाई ना कि जस्ट बने लाइक आए सो ये समय किन पामी रायो ये सुबह ले इस तरह पार्टी नो ना लाइक मा निकलन कर दोस you are right. Kena mana mungkin manusia itu, hamil saja ni, apa itu dihere? Hala ki uta successful Bollywood, Nepali, atau macam tu. Mula awak ni pun, mero ceri late stage mana diagnosis boyo. Mac dihere ignore ni thi. Rau mana laksa hamil awareness level cai ni dihere ni kamunja rau you cancer. Maximum cancer को diagnosis in our part of the world is especially towards the end, especially towards the late stage cancer माने हों दो रेज़ third stage भाई पच्चीस नहीं भेरी जिस तो को diagnosis होने लगे था कि लोगों ने हमने अपनो health लाई भेरी बुझे हों देनो भेरी अपनो health पे focus कर रहे हों देनो उस लाई so बॉडी में साइन और सिम्टम जरूर दी रहा हूँ दोरे सर तो ना हमने तेरे चीने मैं भी चीने चीने थी ना और छह महीना कॉम्प्लिकेशन सर होने लगे पहला होने थे छह महीना देखे नहीं चाइनी ऑनली अठारो भाई रंग थे तो ना शेलो दिन अठारो 
Professionalism, I'm looking for काम focus, but I can cut on Gurney. Um, but Joro, I could say, I think of Harris over it, like they focus on Gurney. Uh, ignore Gurra, come to the very and the body down. So, body is Nepal is a very good thing. I mean, I was a very good thing. 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 I was तपाईले जुन भन्नुभयो हामी आफ्नो हेल्थलाई अवोइड गर्छौ भनेर त्यसको लागि चाहिँ तपाईको आगामी प्लान के हुन्छ एज अ यो क्यान्सरको अवेयरनेसको लागि चाहिँ के छ भन्ने मात्र सोध्न चाहन्छु हस्तरिक थ्याङ्क्स यो चाहिँ एकदमै लेट स्टेज मा स्पेशली ओभरियन क्यान्सरको डायग्नोसिस अल ओभर द वर्ल्ड चाहिँ नि लेट स्टेज मा हुन्छ अनि अनफर्चुनेटली म पनि त्यसै मा परे र uh, that again, what it means to me is that I have to do a lot of work to generate awareness. Just a minute, auntie, go America now cancer diagnosis. Both are one for diagnosis zero stage one way. Kina me ne uta ko healthcare system iti strong sa iti sampan na chakit u manche apni birse mane pani uta ko hospital ya the u ne dechi ni phone gare remind gari rounds. You have forgotten your test. You have to come for the test. Whatever. This is the only in Southeast Asia a strong healthcare system. Thank you for the question.